Hey. Hey. Okay, so Mono Develop is installed. We're good to go. So does that mean I can search for it, or do I have to run it from the command line? Let's find oh, let's that try. out right now. Cool. Hey, look, there it is, Mono Develop. Yeah, so um, now we have access to Mono Develop inside of our application. So let's go ahead and launch this sucker. Here it comes, Ryan. Now you'll notice that in Windows we were using Xamarin Studio, and in Linux we'll be using Mono Develop. Uh, it's just because there is no Xamarin Studio, there is no Mono Develop 4.0 available for Linux yet at the time of this recording, but that does not mean that in the not too distant future it won't be. But but it'll all basically be the same thing. Well, yeah. Once you see, I mean, it's there's really no difference. I mean, the the GUI may look slightly different, but it's fairly the same. You could open up projects from one with the other. It's no big deal. So let's go ahead and let's create a new a uh, new solution. And we'll go to C Sharp, Console Project, and we'll call it Hey Buddy. Now the location's not set, so let me browse to, should be able to do uh, Documents, create a folder called Projects, and we'll stick it there. Perfect. Yeah, so Home with oh, it, it has a home. Documents Projects, we'll go forward. Um, we don't really care about this stuff. When we weren't asked this in the Xamarin Studio, but in, in the Mono Develop IDE, you'll ask the GTK Sharp support, which we installed that when we were doing it in Windows. And if you were going to have a cross-platform graphical user interface application, you could you can import this, you can use that. But in this case, we don't care. We're not going to do it. So we'll just say, nope, we don't care. Cool. And here's our Hello, but Hello World yeah, program. Yeah, there we but go. Looks just like the other one, except they did the thing for us again. Yeah, you know, and when is... When is when hey, are, buddy. When are people on Earth going to get that we know what we're talking about and that, hey, buddy, is wave of the future? It's just, it's just better. <laughs> it's just plain better. You can also see stuff like the keyboard shortcut. Control F5 is exactly the same. So, I mean, you're, you're really talking semantics here when you talk about the difference between the two environments. Um, Which is really nice if yes. you need to switch back and forth. Yes. In effect, it's pretty much the same. So we just control F5, this sucker. And we see build successful on the bottom mm -hmm. left. Terminal pops up. Right. There hey, we go. Buddy. Hey, buddy. So, Brian, explain the magnitude of this to our viewers just so that they fully understand why this is so important to showcase. So not, not only are we able to take code from one environment to another and basically write the same code and execute it in two different environments, but our IDE, our situation, our keyboard shortcuts even are all basically the same. So you have a very you know lo low learning curve to move between different environments. Mm -hmm. uh, but what's also nice is you, you know as you were saying about with the GTK Sharp stuff, you can actually use this to write graphical applications in, and in my opinion, a lot easier than you could in Trolltech. Oh yeah, and um, you know write it once, run it in Windows, run it in Linux. You know you're basically good to go. You basically just Mac as well. Differently. And all Mac, all the yeah. major platforms. Yep. Yeah, so that's cool. Unless you write something that is platform specific. Right. You you'll get a lot of use out of this. And in and in those cases you can you can easily just do a provider pattern to kind of implement your classes differently where you need to mm -hmm. in the different environments. Right. Yeah, exactly. That's it guys. Now we can start uh, coding with C sharp. Awesome.